I'm Don Aaron with the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department. This is a critical incident briefing concerning Thursday afternoon's fatal police shooting of a man in the northbound lanes of I-65 between the Old Hickory Boulevard and Harding Place exits. This case involves officers from the MNPD, Tennessee Highway Patrol, and Mount Juliet Police Department. You are about to see body-worn camera footage so that you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know up to now. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and this police department conduct thorough use of force investigations. This investigation is in its early stages and will take time to complete. A word of caution. The images and information you are about to see may be disturbing and difficult to watch. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for children and sensitive viewers. Shortly before 2 p.m. Thursday, a Tennessee Highway Patrol trooper traveling north on I-65 came upon Landon Estep, a 37-year-old Nashvillian who was sitting on a guardrail on the shoulder. The trooper reported that he stopped and approached Estep with the intent of giving him a ride off the interstate. After a brief interaction, the trooper reported that Estep pulled a box cutter. Metro police were requested to the scene at 1.55 p.m. An off-duty Mount Juliet officer who was traveling north on I-65 stopped to assist the trooper before MNPD arrival. The Mount Juliet officer attempted to de-escalate the situation and dialogue with Estep for some 30 minutes as he held the box cutter in his left hand and kept his right hand in his pocket. Just drop it, brother. Let me help. Let me help. La Landon, come on. Landon, come on, brother. Let, let me help you out. You will not end up in jail. See, look, I, I know. Let me help. Landon, look, hey, look at me. Look at me. Landon, look at me. No, don't do it. Don't do it. On, do not do it, brother. Landon, don't let me li don't let me go home with this today, brother. Please. Come on. Landon. Landon, look at me, brother. I'm talking to you. Hey. Please. I give you my word. My word means something, okay? I keep it. You will not go to jail today. I promise you. You will not go to jail today. Whatever you're worried about, we can fix it. Let's get you some help, though. This is not the answer. You and I know it. You don't want to. You don't want to hurt me. I know you don't. And you know I damn sure don't want to hurt you. Right? Come on, man. Come on, brother. Just put your hand up, drop the knife, and let's figure this out. Landon, come on, brother. Let's do the right thing here, okay? Let's get, let's get you some help, brother, please. That's all we're asking, bro. No, don't, Landon. No, don't do it, Landon. No. Back up a little bit, back up a little bit. Landon. Come on, Landon. Don't, don't do this, bro. Seriously, I got you. Let's end it, man. Let's end it, Landon. Just drop the knife, brother. Let's help you out. Let's go home. Go home. Landon, don't want to do that. Come on, Landon. Don't want to do that. Landon, don't. Please, brother. Come on. Come on, man. Hey, I've been out here for 30 minutes talking to you, bro. Let's go home. Let's go home, Landon. Please drop it, brother. This is not the answer. You know, I don't want to hurt you. Come on, Landon. Landon, don't. Hey, we don't want to hurt you. We don't want to shoot you. And you don't want to hurt us. Right? I got kids to go to. I got a family to go home to. And I was on my way doing that. But my God put me here so I can help you out today. And you know it. And you, you damn sure know it. I know it. Come on, brother. Just drop it. Landon, please, brother, don't do this. Please don't. Please. You've been talking to me the whole time, brother. Please. Do it for me. I give you my word. I, I will help you out. Okay. Look, here, take them off. Come on, brother. If that makes you feel better. Take the sunglasses off. No big deal. My sunglasses off. Eye to eye. I've been talking, brother. Look, I don't have a damn vest on. And I still stopped in the interstate because I want, I want you to go home today. I don't want you to end up dead inside the interstate. Nobody wants that. This folks right here, they got kids in the cars. Look at that. Kids over there just sitting by. That, don't, don't give them that show, brother. Okay? Please. 
They're going to have to live with this too, not just me and you. Please, just drop it, brother. That's all you got to do. I promise you. Get your hand out of your pocket, drop the knife, and I guarantee you I will have an ambulance here to help you out. You will not go to jail if that's what you're worried about. Come on, Landon. Please, help me help you. That's all I'm asking for. Come on, brother, just drop the knife. Get your hand out of your pocket. If that's a gun, what you got in there? Don't worry about it, we'll figure it out, we'll fix it. I'm not too worried about that right now, I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you, Landon. Come on, brother, just drop it. Come on, I know you can do it. I know you want to do the right thing here. And this is your chance. Landon. Come on, brother. Landon, please, brother, don't do it. Don't do it. No, no, no. No, Landon. Please, Landon. Please. Landon, Landon. Land Cease fire! Cease fire! Please, Landon. Please. The metal cylindrical item Eastup pulled from his pocket was not a firearm. Nine law enforcement personnel fired their weapons after Eastup took a stance as if he had a firearm. Six MNPD officers, two Tennessee State Troopers, and the Mount Juliet officer. The MNPD officers are James Kidd, Justin Pinkleton, Sean Williams, Eden Plansick, Sergeant Steve Carrick, and Officer Brian Murphy. These six MNPD personnel are presently on routine administrative assignment as a result of the shooting. In the coming days, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and the Davidson County District Attorney's Office will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. By policy, the MNPD will also be conducting an administrative review of the interactions you have just seen to ensure that they meet the high standards expected of our officers. Thank you for watching this critical incident video.